Today we celebrate the end of the 2020 golf season. We are looking at one of Alberta's best golf courses. I believe it's the top three to be exact. The Innisfail Golf Club sits in central Alberta. Situated off the QE2 highway, it's one hour from Calgary and two hours from Edmonton. And it just so happens that we are lucky enough to catch this course on one of the best looking fall days of the year. Founded in 1924, this scenic gem has three amazing nine-hole layouts. Today we played the Aspen and Spruce Nines, but we're lucky enough to even catch a glimpse of the famous number six at Hazelwood. This holds a good two-shotter that requires an iron off the tee and an extremely accurate approach shot to an island green. If there's any wind, or if the pin is near the back, this is truly one of the hardest golf shots in Alberta. All three nines are similar and require a good balance between power and accuracy. With us playing the Spruce and Aspen nines, and me playing this course three times this season, I tried something a little different. And this did unfortunately expose a common trend amongst golf course design in the modern age. If you are playing this course the first time, there are some intimidating visuals off the tee, some force carries and blind tee shots due to dog legs. Can make this course somewhat intimidating. But if you have a long ball and are confident off the tee, you know where to hit it, more importantly, know where to miss, you can overpower this course. And that's a shame. In the early 1900s, before technology of golf equipment started eclipsing golf course architecture, Innisfail would have been quite the challenge. As far as looking at this course on paper, from the back tees, all three nines have a rating around level par, and the distance is approximately 3,300 to 3,400 yards for par 36s. To me, it's a good balance between challenging holes and shorter par fours that you can play the risk reward game. The green fees and rates require a little bit of an explanation. For the location in central Alberta, the prices would be a little bit on the higher side. But when you factor in the quality of golf course that you get to play, it's a steal of a deal. We were lucky enough to find the course with relatively soft conditions, which helped with my bomb and gouge strategy. The greens are in great condition and roll true and hold approach shots nicely. This course also offers a unique vibe. You'll get seasoned golfers playing Riley best ball matches. You also get locals wearing jeans and t-shirts. This has that inclusivity vibe that we all know that I love about the modern age of golf. If you're a fan of the risk reward side of golf, like bombing driver, and like the opportunity to make a lot of birdies while enjoying one of the more scenic golf courses you could ever play, this is the place for you. Not only is Innisfail worth the visit, while you're visiting, you might as well play all three nines. Thanks.